The Black Lagoon needs a creature. Like Midnight's need a double feature. Like zombies need the living. Like Rocky Horror needs the singing. Like a knife glove needs Freddy. Like Jason needs a sharpened machete. Camp like Elvira needs vamp. Like the 90s needed scream, like Michael Myers needs Jamie Lee. Like a Cenobite needs pain, like Dr. Frankenstein needs a normal brain. Like Billy needs Jigsaw, like the Wolfman needs to give paw. Like Ed Wood needs a new plan, like Norman Bates needs his mum. Like Leatherface needs fresh skin, like Satan needs your sin. Like Ash needs deadites, like the Elder Gods need acolytes. Like the Mind Flayer needs will, like Krampus needs his list fulfilled. Like Final Destination needs a premonition, like American Psycho needs a new adaptation. Like the, Xen like the Xenomorph needs Ripley, like Annie Wilkes needs a dirty... Birdie, like the thing needs to assimilate, like the Terminator needs to terminate, like Pennywise needs you to float, like Jaws needs a bigger boat, like the Sanderson sisters need a virgin, like the Purge needs purging, like any good ending, this poem ends on a bad cliche, we all need Halloween for more than just one day. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this very special uh, virtual performance that we're doing tonight. This is a, um, a special one. This is Baby Be My Poltergeist. Snowfall of static washes over midnight screens. A distant whisper to hypnotise. Baby, be my poltergeist. Draw me in with tales and visions. Twist and twizzle the physical realm. Wrap around. Take me away from space and time. Baby, be my poltergeist. Rearrange the furniture. Slam the doors, build on the graveyard of my heart. Play rough, don't be nice. Baby, be my poltergeist. Possess the trees, cause a storm. Take control of, creep me, of creepy toys. Promise to keep me up all night, baby. Be my poltergeist. Keep a demon on the door. Take me into worlds unknown. We can explore together if you like. Baby, be my poltergeist. My heart and mind are open to you. I'm willingly yours if I meet your needs. Let's do this for eternity, not just one night. Baby, be my poltergeist. Cheers. This is a, uh, a motivational haiku. Werewolves love a pack. They are just as strong alone. Take their lead in life. You can have that. <laughs> So, um, th again, thank you very much for tuning in tonight. Um, the reason, as I say, stated on, on Facebook the other day, was that I just want to raise um, awareness and just signpost um, support that's mainly around Wakefield, the Wakefield area, but there are some national um, schemes as well. So I just want to highlight a couple of uh, businesses within Wakefield um and some others nationally as well so the list what i'm going to read out just very quickly these are businesses 
that are supporting free school meals. Because as we know, uh, the government decided to not support uh, vulnerable children this winter. Um, so first of all, a shout out for the Real Junk Food Project. They have got the share house in Wakefield. You can find them on Facebook, Twitter, their, their own website there. Pay as you feel. Get in touch with them. They'll sort you out. Uh, this does end tomorrow. Squires Deli in Aussie. Uh, they're doing 40 lunch packs a day, but they were only running it this week. Um, so there is still chance tomorrow. Um, and that's at Squires Deli in Aussie. Uh, Jai's Takeaway that are based in Kettlethorpe. I apologise if, if I pronounce this wrong. But if you look for Jai Poogle on Facebook, they're doing... Um, lunch packs as well so again jai poogle on facebook that's j a i p u g a l and that's jai's takeaway and they're based over in kettlethorpe you've got ma b's kitchen uh they're on 80 line pit lane uh, part of Wakefield as well. They're doing a free kids' packed lunch. You go in and ask for a Stanley or Wakefield Owls special. Again, that's Ma B's Kitchen. You can find them on Facebook. Um, or the address is 80 Lime Pit Lane, Whiskey Foxtrot 3, 4 Delta Foxtrot, Wakefield. Mr. and Mrs. C's. Um, in Wakey as well, they're doing uh, pat lunches. Uh, with them, you just need to message their Facebook page. That's Mr. and Mrs. C's. Or you can drop them a line on 01924 332908. That's Mr. and Mrs. C's. Uh, Wakefield District Labour Party, uh, they're part of the Say No to Holiday Hunger Campaign. Uh, a lot of councillors are out there making sure that food banks are being supported. Uh, they can also signpost you to different services. And the big one, if anyone's tuning in nationally, um, we have a fantastic website, which is helpoutwhenschoolsout.co.uk. With that, you pop your postcode in and it will tell you all of your local businesses that are supporting free school meals. Um, at least through this half term, it looks like it's going to be into the rest of winter as well. So again, that's helpoutwhenschoolsout.co.uk. Like I say, I do apologise if I've not listed every single business in Wakefield. I know there is so many that are out there helping this well, the helping out where others have failed. Um, okay, so I did promise that this was going to be sort of a, a bit of a Halloween stream and we're going to keep things a little bit spooky as much as we can in a bright little lit kitchen. And this one is a, uh, a true tale of terror. For anyone watching that's ever been on the other side of the counter. For anyone else that's worked in retail, you know this more, well, you know this as well as I do. This is In She Walked. In She Walked, peroxide blonde, asymmetrical bob. Caked on self-bake tan. Eyelashes curled high enough to blend seamlessly into those HD brows. Fresh off the table, breasts boosted to sit either side of a chin. Talons began to click and clack on the counter as the words started to form. Excuse me, yes, I'd like to speak to your manager. Yes, you see, it's about this video game. 
that I purchased on behalf of my child. Yes, I know there's a big red 18 sticker slapped to the case, but everybody knows that that is just a guideline. I can easily abide the gratuitous beheadings and vibrant viviceptions. I can tol tolerate the virtual breasts and depictions of a sexual scene. However, I will not be told to fuck off and die, you hellspawn flung from Satan's sordid rectum by my own flesh and blood. How am I at fault when this game is quite clearly being labelled as the latest and trendiest babysitting tool? How was I to know what filth was being poured into my precious little innocent child's mind in the confines of his bedroom? Besides the point, I know my rights. Because I saw Martin Lewis on this morning. <sighs> Taking a breath. Centering myself. I looked uh, straight in those tar brushed eyes and said, Actually, madam, I can return that for you, uh, no problem. But just one quick question Would you allow your precious little boy? to watch a film with those scenes, or would you tell him that he is too young to bear witness? Would you let him sit there and absorb a plethora of grade A old school slasher flicks? Would you let him ogle a pair of Hollywood's finest breasts in the latest romantic thriller? Would you let him have the words of the mighty Quentin Tarantino poured into his innocent little mind, or... Would you tell him that he is too young to bear witness? A stammer. A murmur pushed through Tipek's white teeth. A snatch of a game. A snatch of a hand. An exit. A victory. Thank you. So, that's a true story. From all those years ago, working at a um, quick bit of nostalgia, a little bit of a um, <laughs> blockbuster as, um, as where those ESRB ratings came into play. This is also based on a true story. And this... Is for all of the uh, couples that are watching tonight. This is the caveman. We were having an argument. Not a big, all guns blazing, my mother was right about you argument. Just a silly one that made me regress, retreat to my cave, where I consulted with the great oracle, YouTube. He slid over his recommendations, topping the bill. John Lennon and Yoko Ono on love, blank on blank PS Digital Studios. Five and a half minutes later, I realised the universe itself had channeled Lennon to me to sit in front of me, slap me across the chops and say, here lad, 
you're better than this. Get out of this grump and go show that beautiful, feisty, sassy, quick, witted, Venus incarnate woman that you absolutely adore your dad sod. So it did. But there's a catch. A twist. I don't want to love you how John loved Yoko or how Sid loved Nancy or how Johnny loved June. I'll love you how you deserve to be loved. Not some fairy tale they lived happily ever after. <laughs> no. I want the grit. The drunk calls when you're out with the girls with the obligatory holding of your hair whilst you're in deep conversation with the toilet bowl with a fresh glass of water on hand. The crack of dawn workday starts. That road trip down Route 66 that we always talk about. To be finally able to kick your ass on Mortal Kombat. Those nights of... Babe, it's in a warm get off. No, I'm cold, come back. No, I'm too warm, fuck off. Where are you going getting back here? I'm cold. I want to be able to reach a compromise on the choice of the Saturday night takeaway. I want that slight awkwardness when I think that you've sussed me try to, trying to slyly inquire about your ring size. I want to be able to spend time in a random vegan cafe that we find just down that slightly dodgy looking alleyway, but it serves really nice vegan lemon drizzle cake. And it serves that cat poop coffee that's all the rage in San Francisco. Allegedly. I am going to give you the world over. I do love you. Just let me teach the caveman how to water the bonsai tree. Cheers. So, not only are we um, raising awareness tonight, I know there's... Um, Quite a couple, there's a couple of different groups that are um, that have joined in tonight, and there's one very special group that um, this one is 100% dedicated to. Um, this is a family of strangers. This is for the victims of false accusations from foolish patriarchy, for healing the sick, for freeing themselves from superstition. As we bathe in the orange warmth of the flames, tears will fall where your binds should have. Our voices will reverberate like thunder where yours were snatched. Hanging your lives proudly in the gallery of history. The ashes will flurry in a black snow. Marking the tracks left behind. When the fires subside, you shall remain. This is for the victims of hate spewed by weasels of media. For finding solace in their flesh. For loving who they choose. Your truth shall be told forever. We will hold you high where others crushed you down. Dance and love long into the creek of dawn. Fight on for the rights that you were denied. 
Understanding will come. The wounds will heal. When the violence ends, you shall remain. This is for the victims of pseudoscience, by peddlers of snake oil and false prophets, preyed on, exploited. We stand steadfast in enlightenment, where conspiracy once sculpted, where false hope once lay as quicksand, science and knowledge will build bridges of steel. Foggy shrouds will be lifted. Humanity will find its way to the rational. Until that day, you shall remain. The morning star greets with no judgment, only compassion. Welcomed into the warm bosom, we are a family of strangers. In all your names, our fight carries on. Cheers. So, um, I did talk a bit earlier saying that we'll cover some food banks as well. Um, so again, this is predominantly the Wakefield area that I've pulled these from, but I'll go over a little bit of information once I've just read this list. Um, so first of all, we've got the Resource Food Bank. They are based at Christ Church or South Osset Church in Osset. Uh, they operate Friday, 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. Um, you can go on their Facebook page or they have got a mobile number, which is 075226040130. And that's the Resource Food Bank. A massive shout out to the team at Light Waves and Next Generation Food Bank as well. Um, with these guys, find them on Facebook as well. That's Light Waves and Next Generation Food Bank. Um, or you can call them on 01924 360 uh, Calder Grove Cricket Club Food Bank. They operate within a... 4.5 mile radius of um, Calder Grove Cricket Club. Again, they are on Facebook or you can uh, call them. I don't know. <laughs> See, this is what happens with live. I don't know whether I've just frozen. Bear with me, guys. Technical difficulties. Bear with me. Okay, so I apologise. I'm kind of going at this blind now. Um, Dan, thank you for moderating this. Um, my end's frozen up, but... Um, Okay, this is what happens, live TV. Fuck it. Um, so, Calder Grove Cricket Club, they deliver within a 4.5-mile radius of uh, the cricket club. Uh, check their Facebook page, or you can give them a call on 0753 030 There we go. I've got live feed again. Um, so that's Calder Grove Cricket Club. Cloud Nine, uh, I believe they're a childcare centre. They're on Illingworth Street in Ossie. Just see their Facebook page because they're just getting set up. That's Cloud Nine on Illingworth Street in Ossie. And again, Real Junk Food Project, they are absolutely fantastic. Just get in touch with them. It's pay as you feel, they'll sort you out. Um, so again, for anyone that's tuning in nationally, I know I'm talking very local here, but from my experience, this is what a lot of food banks need. Some do take monetary donations because they can get discounts at supermarkets on bulk buys. But if you want to donate, 
I would recommend checking with the food bank that you want to go to first, see if there's anything they're in desperate need of. Um, but from my experience, dry foods, uh, microwavable pasta, rice, dried pasta, pot noodles, the sort of packs of custard and jelly that are already pre-cooked. You can either eat them cold or you can warm them up. You, you know what I mean. Uh, tea bags, coffee, um, sugar, tinned fruit, tinned veg, crisps, cereal, cereal bars, dried fruit, watered down pop, cordial, whatever you want to call it, Robinsons. This one's one that sometimes does get overlooked. Um, sanitary items, tampons, tampax, because uh, period poverty is another major thing that's affecting a, a hell of a lot of um, people, especially um, school children as well. Um, toiletries, just shower gels, toothbrushes, toothpaste. Eat. Someone out there will need them and use them. And also, we're getting you know just bits of sweets, chocolates, just anything that we can um, that we can push in. Um, but like I say, I do recommend checking your food bank first. Or the other one that I've seen in plenty of supermarkets now, uh, Lidl, Co-op, Tesco, I've seen it done. They've got a, a collection spot at the front of the store, normally at the entrance exit, you can drop stuff in. Uh, Morrison's, they have launched a new scheme where you can buy like a pre-packed bag as you walk in, and then when you get to the counter, you hand it back over and they put it away to send off. Um, yeah, that's that's the best advice I can give. Uh, like I say, I do apologise if I've missed any food banks out locally. Um, I know some of them are on social media, some of it is word of mouth. But let's do everything that we can. So, where are we? Where are we? Okay. Okay, this one is um, it's my rockabilly friends, the, uh, the spooky chicks, the weirdos, the... Uh, this is at the midnight hop. When midnight strikes and black clouds blanket, the spooky chicks and ghouly guys come out to hop and bop, rocking till their heartbeats stop. Seas of straight edge sharp suits Dot Martins and Creepers, outrageous hair pinned up and flowing down. Mermaid fishnets and occult frocks, rocking till their heartbeats stop. Enchanted by double bass slaps, gyrating to hungry chords, aching to time warp once again. Never stopping to knock the rock, rocking till their heartbeats stop. Pay no mind to the orgy in the mosh pit, the human chunks flying from the buffet, or the shibari piñata in the corner. They're here until the sun comes up, rocking till their heartbeats stop. See them slash and twist, gut and gouge, play with their insides out. Hack at the ligaments and tendons until they drop, rocking till their heartbeats stop. Time to rest amongst the tombstones, snuggle and spoon in the dawn glow. Whisper sweet nothings in sweetheart ears. At the midnight hop that's never topped, rocking till their heartbeats stop. Thank you. Now, normally, normally for anyone that's um, seen me live in the uh, before times, the uh, the the pre. Um, disease times normally I end a set 
with some audience participation. So if you know which one's coming, do, you know, don't, don't be afraid to stick it in the chat because um, unfortunately we can't do that tonight. You can still do it at home if you know what's coming. But consider this a very special unplugged version of Black Band Tea. In a purple crate tucked in solace in the back corner of the wardrobe, there's a black mass of fabric, mainly fruit of the loom. A wearable memory box of teenage years once thought lost to charity shops and car boot sales. These declarations of individual uniform emblazoned with the names of gods, monsters and mortals solidified that there was a worldwide family out there. Even from the comfort of a council house bedroom. To some, these shirts are bookmarks of awkward first kisses after words of I'll walk you home if you want. Spoken from behind teenage dyed fringes. The eternal seal of friendships during snake bite nights in dingy dungeon clubs. Marriages that began with a body slam at a punk rock show. Sibling bonds that were tightened over the love of Derek Rigg artwork. As 33 and a half RPM lyrics told tales of the number of the beast. To others, it's the rush of walking into an arena with 21,000 others ready to sing. Not always pitch perfect, but in euphoric harmony, connected through the vibrations of love, ready to wash away the stress of the outside world as they sit on the tip of the thumb of gods, ready to walk away to be inspired, to be rock stars, pop stars, singers, songwriters, dancers, artists, poets. But at the heart of it all, the purest, distilled, Essence is that I look good in a black band tee. You look good in a black band tee. You look good in a black band tee. You look good in a black band tee. We all look good in a black band tee. Tea. Cheers. So, Halloween is a is a very mystical, a very spiritual time. We have beliefs that you know stretch back to pagan times that. Stretch ripes of modern day. Some say that you know the veil between worlds is at its thinnest, and they um, that the spirits come through at the most powerful. Some people believe the dead are welcome back in. Others want to chase away evil spirits. So either way, no matter what your belief is, let's channel some of that energy tonight on this final piece. This is a banishing spell for your local Tory MP. Imran Ahmed Khan. 
I call on the spirits of socialism and human decency. The energy of all watching tonight. The love and belief of a Britain free from the bonds of Tory rule. Through the power vested in me, hear this defiant decree. May your tea never be made right. May your tie never not correctly. May you never get that stubborn crease out when you iron. May you always wake up perform your every goal. May those who wear their pride outshine your every move. May the North never forget. May Wakefield see your back. May you hear these words, Imran Ahmed Khan. Wakefield has a high number of food banks and was declared the 75th most deprived local authority out of 317 by the Income Deprivation Affecting Children Index just last year. This is in no small part due to the damaging effects of government-led austerity measures. On a national level, approximately a million children will be affected by the government's decision not to support them with free school meals over this half term and the Christmas break. Locally, this could affect 11,090 children. Imran Ahmed Khan could have stood up at that vote with five of his colleagues to support those children. Instead, he towed the party line, as he always does. This is on top of consistently voting against fair economic support during COVID restrictions, against local contact tracing, against support for our NHS and student nurses, against food standards post-Brexit, and against an independent review into the floods that affected vast areas of the country at the start of the year, including Halbury. But don't worry, he did vote in favour of not reducing measures against tax avoidance and not taking steps against climate change. Oh, and he has claimed twen approximately £20,000 in expenses in his first year as MP. And let us not forget that he very recently appeared to break the tier two restrictions recently imposed on Wakefield when he attended a, a party. No, sorry, in his words, the initiation with singing. Over these last few days, we have seen communities and businesses coming together to stand in solidarity and support some of the most vulnerable in our society. And we especially need that now because breaking news before I went on uh, this live stream tonight, Wakefield is going into tier three restrictions from Monday. I implore you all, please support your local food banks and schemes. Even sharing a Facebook post or a tweet, liking, commenting something to keep that post moving through the algorithm, it could reach someone that is in desperate need. I know this year has been incredibly taxing on us all, but now more than ever, we need unity to support our fellow human beings. Good night. Stay safe. Look after each other. Hail yourselves. <laughs>